Hello, everyone. We're excited to introduce to you the new TAC registration system. It was created in response to feedback from providers and partners in order to streamline your access to all of the TAC offerings and events. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right in and do a walkthrough of the new system, showing you how to create an account in the system and how to register for events. Just want to say before we start that any events that you'll see in the system are just test events just created so that there are some events in there to see how it looks. Now, as I mentioned, this is a brand new system, so you will have to create a new account. Even if you had an account in the previous system, you have to create a new account here as of August 21st. So, to create a new account, you'll see here that I'm on the starting page of the registration system. And so to create a new account, I have to go to sign up, and I will see the fields that I have to complete to create a new account. Now, I have to complete each of the fields. Like so, and then I will have to complete organization type. So, if your organization provides direct behavioral health services in New York State, and you're going to click this first group, New York State Mental Health, Substance Use Disorder, Child Welfare Agency Providers. And so if that's what my organization does, then I will click that first group, and I will begin to type the name of my agency that I work with. So I'm going to begin to type that because I work at the Elmira Psychiatric Center. And you can see that it started to autocomplete, and it gave me suggestions, and I can click the one that's relevant. Now. We recommend that when you start to type, you start to type with one word and you use a definitive word in your organization title. Because if I type center, it'll work, but of course I will have to scroll through because there are a lot more agencies with the word center in them. Now, if you try and you cannot find your organization here, keep in mind that if you recently changed your name, perhaps try the previous name that might be in the system. But if you've tried several times and you can't find your organization, then you're going to go to Other Government Agency, and you're going to scroll through the options and click Other New York State Serving Agency Organization, at which point you'll be able to write in your name. Now, if you, have, if you get to here and you're at organization type and you are not providing direct behavioral health services at your agency, but you're another stakeholder in the system, then you're going to start by clicking Other Government Agency and looking at the options here. So for example, maybe you're a consultant, maybe you work for an MCO, maybe you work for a government agency, and you're not providing behavioral health services directly. And so you would fill that out and go from there. But going back to our Elmira example, after I click my organization, there are a few more fields that I need to fill out. So the next one is agency-wide or program-specific. And you'll see here these little eyes that you can hover over for more information. These exist throughout the sign-in process just in case you need any clarification. So if at Elmira I work on an agency-wide level, then I would click agency-wide, see the positions, and click whichever position is appropriate. If instead I work for one or two or even four or five programs but not all of them, I would hit program-specific. Then I would complete my position, and perhaps I have, perhaps two of these are relevant. And then I would click the programs that I work with. I can click as many as are relevant, but of course, if I find that I'm clicking all of them, then I should go back and hit agency-wide. And after that, I would just click Submit. And once you submit, it will bring you to a login page where you just enter that information, your email and your password, and then you will be in the system. So I'm just going to sign in with an account that I have previously created. So once you enter the system, you will see it will bring you to your upcoming registered event. Since I have this account, I have a few, this one event that I'm registered for, and I can see it here. And if I want to, I can easily unregister for this event by clicking unregister for event. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now you'll see I don't have any upcoming registered events. Um, in the system, you can also see your past registered events. So if I click 
past registered events, I will see all of the events that I've signed up for that have come to pass, and I will see which one specifically I attended and with a little purple attended mark. Now, if I want to register for a new event in the system, I go to Browse Other Events. Perhaps that event that I just canceled, I actually want to register for, so I would hit Register for Event right here. It takes a second to process, and then it will show me that I've registered for this event, and I'll get a confirmation email, and now it will be in my event listed right there. Here I'm waitlisted because um, too many people have signed up for this event previously and I waited too long. So I'll be waitlisted and I will get an email if I am removed from the waitlist and I'm registered. Now in addition to this, that you can also register if you're not in the system. So let's say that I have logged out of the system and I got an email from MCTAC or CTAC that has information, looks something like this, about an upcoming event. So if I want to go to this event, I click the register here link or button in the email, and it will bring me to the registration system. Now, if I have never been to this registration system before, I have to click sign up and then log in. But if I have an account, I just created an account earlier, then I can just log right in. And I will see immediately brought to that page for the event that I was just clicked the email for, and I will be able to register for event. And now it will be in my event of an upcoming event that I am registered for. Additionally, you can register through the calendar at ctacny.org under upcoming events. So if you're on the calendar, you see an upcoming event that you're interested in, you click it, you click the register for event link, and it will bring you over to the registration system where you'll log in or sign up for an account if you don't have one and click register like we just went through. So that is how you create an account in the registration system, and that is how you register for the events that you're interested in. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at ctac.info at nyu.edu or mixtac.info at nyu.edu, and we will get back to you as soon as possible to help you with any of your registration needs. Thank you.